<laughs> yeah, she ain't gonna find better than this right here. Yeah, yeah. You don't even know, man. You know that 80 20 rule? We, we in a different society, man. Chicks be underestimating stuff. These niggas ain't shit. I hate to say it like that, but. You ain't never lie. It's different. Yo. <laughs> it's different. And I own. I, I got a friend and I speak to my. I speak to people, right? A, a lot of different females. I see accomplished females and they be having these bomb ass dudes that's trying to eat off of them. And I'm just like, yo, I don't understand how y'all keep dealing with these niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? Pardon my language. But I, just, I understand it because we all get lonely. We all have our needs. You know what I'm saying? But. I just I hate I hate parasitic dudes. And what I mean by that is dudes like, yo, you a man. You supposed to be able to go get it on your own. Right? Nobody say you gotta make six figures, nobody say, but you supposed to be able to be self-sufficient. So eating off a, a woman's plate is some sucker shit to me. You know what I'm saying? Big to time. me. Yeah. In my opinion. In my humble, you know what I'm saying? In my humble opinion, I just Why do you think why do you think an accomplished woman would go for that? Why do I think? Yeah, yeah, personally. What do you, what do you think the issue is? Yo, know, there's so much stuff, man. There's, there's not one answer to this, right? So why would I accomplish one? Yeah, give me, because, I mean, there's multiple reasons why, yeah, right? Yeah, so it could be her own insecurities. It could be something stemming from childhood. It could be a, a, a feeling of a social obligation. It could be... Shit, it could be horniness, you know what I'm saying? It could be, oh, this dude, he might not be shit all this, but he fits all these blocks. He's six feet tall, he looks like this, he has this aesthetic, he's cool, but he's a bum. You know, it's so many things, you know what I'm saying? And I, I just, I've seen it so many times that it bothers me, right? right? And, and, and on, on the flip side, nah, it really don't bother me that much when it's a female. I ain't gonna lie. If a female was using a dude, I would see it differently because I look at men like we're supposed to be able to provide and protect. Yeah. When I say provide, I mean provide resources. We're supposed to provide love and lessons and guidance and this, that, and third. But I'm supposed to be able to provide food. You know what I'm saying? Take it to the simplest. I'm supposed to be able to provide shelter. If I can't do that, if I got to rely on you for that, it would only make sense to me if that was to occur. If the dude was using it as a stepping stone, and he helped improve her life as he's progressing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm down at this level, but I'm still committed to you and I'm working to improve our condition. But a lot of these dudes just be using it for themselves. Yeah. And I hate that. And it bothers me because these be the same cats who be like, yo, I love black women. And I always look at it like, yo, I see the pain and injuries you inflict to sisters. Now, some of these sisters might not be some of them might have their own issues. They might be trash too, in some regard. Just because you make a certain amount of money don't mean that you are right. a good person. You could be a trash person as well. <clears throat> you agree, right? Absolutely. Sure, you've seen it. Mm-hmm. So, why do you think- People who are educated or, you know, <clears throat> was really good um, in certain aspects of life and then really trashy and low down in others and it's like whoa like and you know it sometimes it would get to me to where i'm like how is god blessing this person and they're such a nasty oh you know what i'm saying but that's not for me <laughs> to know why you know what i'm saying like that's just god's grace on that person and you know but you know the flip side of it is sometimes it'll be god blessing people sometimes it be sometimes be the devil right yeah and i say that off the strength of you know where the person ends up from from whatever that perceived blessing is see if it leads them to destruction you're right if it leads them to destruction you gotta ask yourself was that god right you know what i'm saying yeah like, sure. yo, i have a question when you said um a woman might be with a man who um has all these issues or that may be using her you said out of social obligation what did you mean by that no, some like as, as far as the black community, some sisters feel obligated to date black men and take care of black men, right? Oh, okay. I, you know how they I mean, obligated to like no, they, they feel obligated that they're not obligated, but they, it's a self-imposed obligation, right? Like 
you on yourself. Like, what would a woman say to herself to justify that? Because I still don't understand it. Um, I'm gonna let Howland real quick. Yeah, yeah. What's good, Phil? Hey, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Hey, good, what's good, up? Good. Um, so, right? Did you? Oh wait, you. We're not live, so you didn't get to see what we we're talking about. But um. Are y'all not live? We just talking about bum ass niggas right now. No, I'm just <laughs> yeah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I can't relate. I can't relate, but I know a few. You know, yeah, we we all know a few. We all we probably all know more than a few. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole the whole neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a shame, man. But um, Joe was just saying that um, sometimes sisters may take care of men out of a social obligation to the community. So I'm trying to get Joe's perspective on what that means and how how does a woman come to that conclusion, in your opinion? So, like I was saying, I think some sisters feel like they should only date black men. Oh, that's they gonna uplift, Yes. I'm like, yo, date whoever's gonna treat you well. Whoever's gonna give you what you need, the love that you need. I don't care if they Asian, if they white, if they Latino, if they Eskimo, they're a midget if they're a giant date whoever treats you right because you're gonna end up dating one of these black dudes he gonna mistreat you and ruin you and ruin your life and bring hell into your world right so through that sense of obligation for some sisters you deprived you denied yourself of a great dude because of his complexion because of his hue what what happens to that person who could still be an ally sit back and say i understand the plight that your peoples that have gone through and I'm not going to inflict no injury onto you. Why not date that person? He going to love you the way you want to be loved. You're not going to love him. You can't say because he... I'll put it like this. I'm a man. I'm not going to say I only find black women attractive. I find all women attractive. And I believe that any dude who says they only attract a black woman is lying or they gay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, honestly, that's what I believe. Right? What do you think, Kyle? You agree? Um, I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that they was gay, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll agree, I'll agree on the point um that they're lying. I definitely agree on that point. Yeah, there's too I, many beautiful women on the planet to just be like, I only like this. Yeah, yeah. But right. okay, I mean, so we, is that? Do you guys agree for that with uh, with black women though? Do you think that if we say we only like y'all, y'all believe that shit though, huh? No, I don't. I think they like lying women. too. I think they lying too. You can't tell me that you're not attracted to this white dude. It's handsome white dudes out here. Yeah, Brad Pitt. Hispanic. Oh, yeah, that used to be a big heartthrob. <laughs> yep. Brad who's Pitt. That? Yeah. Who, who's that? Brad Pitt. Brad, Brad Pitt. Pitt. But yo, they got George the white dudes. These white oh, dudes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the Rock the Rock is like, he black, but he like a mulatto black dude. So you know what I'm saying? But you can't tell me that sis is not finding these dudes attractive. Oh, okay, yeah. You know I agree, saying? yeah. Like, don't don't deny yourself from somebody who's going to treat you well because, it, because of their complexion. But I don't yeah. think it's... I don't think that social obligation is the right term. I, I think that most black women are just genuinely really just attracted to black men like that's the first choice you know and after you get dogged so many times then you kind of like well i do find this type attractive maybe i'll but <laughs> internally innately they're really but that's the thing better. though better i mean yeah like just i don't know but that's well, the thing, though. Like, attracted to the type of type of people. My mom was attracted. That's why I think it's very important. Like, not very important, but it's very. Your parents are very influential. Mm -hmm. Very influential. Definitely. Because my mom was always attracted to dark black ass men, and when I was a teenager, I thought Wesley Snipes was fine. Nina Brown got damn that skin, like. You know what I'm saying? So, it, and I think it was because that's what my mom was attracted to. So I found that attractive. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm with my son, if I see a little black girl, I'm like, she's cute, right? But I don't think it works that way. <laughs> I can see, but like, no. <laughs> yeah. You can't get. Yeah. Yo, look. I think, and then men, you know, men are men regardless of you know what race they are. 
you know so you're not going to get around the man factor <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know what yeah. I mean that, that, that's, that's the point. you <laughs> said it ain't always better on the other side right exactly. yeah I mean like you know you're dealing with the opposite sex and the opposite sex has a certain genetic makeup and a certain psyche to himself so and that goes across the board yeah. you know you know so there it's not just cheating black men you know it's cheating men <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying yeah. <laughs> and then you you know as a man or as a woman you know what are you first the gender or the actual race of the gender upon birth you see what I'm saying so it's like you know you're you're stuck to you're stuck to that gender you're stuck to that that complexion but which one are you first to dictate you know how you should do your dating thing you know how you should interact with you know different races or should just be black should just be white it is you know what i'm saying you're a woman you're black i think you're naturally attracted as a black woman or any i think you're naturally going to be attracted to your species well not your species your um race of people let me say that you know what i'm saying i just think that's more natural i don't think um I don't, but you know, and then it, it might be a social thing or a psychological thing where, um, depending on your environment, like you said, with your mother, you know, certain things may trigger you to like certain things that you probably wouldn't normally like if you didn't have that type of environment. Yeah, the influence, right? Yeah. Yeah. Experience, exposure, and environment, they're going to play, you know, it's, it's nature versus nurture, but realistically, right? Pick any black dude that could be the most proactive advocate for the community. Put him in jail for five for five years, and, and then throw an attractive white woman in there. See how much he's not attracted to white women. Right, 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 right. All that shit goes out the window. So yeah. if it goes out the window, remember I told you like I kick an old lady down a flight of stairs under the right circumstances. Yeah, yeah. Same shit. Yeah. It's basically the same thing, right? Yeah. So, it's just in some cases, know. some cases they go to jail, and then you know they start liking the whole opposite sex. <laughs> <Yeah. church>, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so yeah, you know <laughs> some go to jail yeah. just to just yeah. to experience that. You know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know about dudes actually going to jail specifically for that goal, but you know, but yeah, I'm sure it happens. Man.